Okay, let's look at number three. Determine the value of n that makes the polynomial a perfect square, then write the polynomial as a square of a binomial. Okay, so we're looking at 3a. Uh, essentially, this question is just asking you to complete the square. So we know completing the square is you take this term, divide by 2, and square it. So 22 divided by 2, and then square it. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 11 squared is 121. So n is 121. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Next one is not pretty, but same process. Take negative 19 over 2, and you square it. So negative 19 squared is 361. We're going to divide by 2 squared, which is 4. And there's your answer. Then they try to scare you with a fraction, but it's still negative 2 thirds. And when you divide by 2, you're just multiplying by 2 in the denominator. And if that's not clear, when you divide by 2, what you're really doing is you're saying negative 2 thirds times 1 over 2. So if it's clear, instead of dividing by 2, you can multiply by 1 over 2. And what will happen in each scenario is the 2's will cancel out. So we're left with negative 1 third. Remember, we're squaring all of this. In any scenario, we're squaring it, which gives me 1 ninth. Note, your answer, no matter how you look at it, it will always become positive because when you square a number, it always becomes positive. And there you have it. So hopefully that makes sense. See you in the next video.